Okay, we created this little vehicle in SolidWorks. Um, it's a uh, kind of a microscopic uh, little vehicle. It's got uh, you know a suspension on it. Um, articulates up and down, kind of like an automotive suspension. And uh, we created, um, you know, used all the uh, standard mates, uh, concentric mates, um, coincident mates, those kind of things. Uh, we have a track that we have. Uh, got a couple, added a couple little bumps to it. So we did a um, motion analysis. So you have to have simulation premium to make this work. Uh, so you'd have to select motion analysis here. But if we zoom in and look at the model a little bit, uh, we have the springs. Zoom in there a little bit. So we have the springs in here, and I'll take a look at the uh, edit feature on the springs. So we just grabbed uh, those two faces there. Uh, so it's uh, again, this is a real small model. So the spring rate one pounds one pound per inch, uh, damping one pound per inch per second, um, which is kind of high for that uh, type of spring rate. But uh, anyway, it's just a, kind of an example. This is the size of the of the spring from a display standpoint. Nothing to do with the analysis. And so, uh, so we have four of those. We have gravity. Let's take a look at that. Gravity was uh, basically one g, uh, Earth gravity. Uh, then the contacts. We have four wheel to track contacts. Take a look at that. Uh, so for each of the four wheels, you can see there's a uh, sol 3D solid to solid contact. We'll edit those, take a look. So we didn't use the material uh, properties. We just plugged in some uh, um, uh, kinematic friction, static friction, and then we chose the impact uh, uh, selection for the elastic properties, and, and here's the properties that we used for that. So, and uh, let's look at the motor. We have two driving wheels. Um, click on that. You can see we have a driving wheel there and a driving wheel there. We'll kind of edit that, take a look at what we had there. So basically we just uh, we grabbed that, cur that uh, curve right there, um, that edge. So and we uh, set it for a constant speed of 100 RPM. And that's really about it. Um, so we'll take a look at the animation. And we'll speed that up just a little bit. Do it again see the suspension move a little bit as it goes over the bump. Of course the neat thing about SolidWorks is the graphics are fantastic and uh, it's definitely this simple in simulation. Uh, the other neat thing is um, it has this export to atoms feature and uh, we use that and pulled it into um, atoms um, Pull that back here a little bit. So this is the Adams 2012 uh, interface uh, with the same model pulled in. Uh, you can kind of see that uh, all the. Let me zoom up there a little bit. <clears throat> all the parts came in fine. Didn't have to uh, uh, do anything with that. Uh, chassis came in. Um, uh, the uh, joints. Uh, those, for the most part, uh, worked fine. Had to do a, a few minor things, but uh, worked okay. Uh, the motions, I had to redo those. Uh, springs, had to redo those also. Springs and contacts. So let's go back and uh, we'll, we'll uh, uh, take a look at that. So, um, so to do the simulation here, 
Uh, we've already done the analysis, uh, so we're just going to do the animation here. So we'll click, click reset and go. Um, So of course, um, uh, I believe when I recreated the springs, uh, the damping rate uh, uh, was quite a bit less. So you see it kind of settle in a little bit more. Of course, uh, with Atoms, you have a lot more capability, um, a lot more features, um, uh, just a lot more powerful package, but uh, you know, for the uh, um, <clears throat> basic kind of simulation and setting the model up, uh, you know, that uh, SolidWorks worked great, uh, great also. Thanks for watching.